Hey, what's going on guys? Carter here with Edge Mindset. We've got a shiny, soft mailer package. So that means Max Ace. If you watch my channel and you see one of these, you know we're dealing with Max Ace. What do we want to open this with? Uh, let's do something funky. Let's take this Microtech and Max here and cut it open. So uh, this might be kind of cool. I feel the main box right here. I know it's in here. I feel the main Max Ace box here. But then I've got something up here squishing around. Uh, I don't know what that is. Probably nothing cool, but we're going to see. Maybe there's, oh, I know what it is. It's not anything cool. Well, I mean, it's kind of cool. So these bigger Max Ace knives all come with Kydex sheaths with a tech lock attached to it. Now, I would never carry the knife in one of these, but it's kind of cool to get free tech locks. I mean, free tech locks because I have some fixed blades that I like to put these on and uh, use them on other things. So I do appreciate that. Really cool of them to include that. But let's get into it. Look at the size of this box. Yes, this is a folding knife inside this box. Yes, it is another massive, massive Max Ace knife. This is the Hephaestus. As usual, we've got your microfiber cloth and we've got a baggie that's already opened and I spilled all of these extra screws. What is this? Is this the stop pin or the, here's the lock. They almost always come with a manual lock you can put in there. Here's a pivot. That may, is that a pivot collar? I think that's actually the pivot collar, not the stop pin. And then we got both sides of the pivot there. Not sure why they include some replacements and then some others. No washers in here but they do have an entirely separate pivot. Uh, but all these screws are amazing. If you lose one, if you strip one out, if you wear out that lock bar insert, you are good to go and you are taken care of. Uh, and I think that's all we got. Padded case, let's get into, let's get into the knife. Here it is, look at this beauty. This is the latest version in 3V. Let's fire it. This is a salt, look at that recurve. Look at that slight, slight recurve right there. Love those grind lines, satin flats, 3V steel, 2023. They put the year on this one, Hephaestus. Uh, this is a beefy mammer jammer. Look at that. So it has the roto lock on it. However, unlike my Midgard's Messer, this thing is actually tightened all the way down. I, I think that, no, that is a roto lock. It's just not flopping around like crazy. In fact, it's literally tightened all the way down. I'm just going to leave it that way. I hate roto locks. I don't use them. Um, I think they're annoying, but at least this one can be tightened down so it doesn't cause any issues. Ooh, what's up with this pocket clip? What is up with that pocket clip? That doesn't give you much. That doesn't give you much lip right there. I am curious to see how that goes in the pocket. I didn't realize that. I haven't heard of any people complaining about it, but uh, that's kind of strange. That is a very like flush. I'm gonna try to, huh. Yeah, I'm trying to slide it into my hoodie and it is not going in at all. I don't think I care for that. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Huh, am I looking at this wrong? Is that pocket clip really as crappy as it seems? Like, there is just no lip to get material. I mean, unless you're wearing, like, linen shorts, you're not getting any sort of material under that clip there. Um, now, I can bend it out a little, give it a little bit of lift. That helped it a little bit, but, huh. Huh. It doesn't have a ton of tension, so it is fairly pliable, so that's good. We'll have to see how that works. We'll have to see how that works. Running on bearings, just like usual, Big behemoth knife. Do we have any lightning going on in here? No. That's why it's so heavy. There is no lightning pockets or anything inside here. You've got these big titanium pieces, which essentially just creates a full titanium knife. Usual cool backspacer from Max Ace that I really like, how it's kind of like it gives the illusion of an integral because it's not just a backspacer sandwiched in between the titanium scales. Uh, it's actually milled milled pocket recessed into the scales there and then the uh, backspacer is kind of wider than the gap i mean as you can see right there 
lanyard hole. That's pretty cool. Really like the design. Just kind of a good overall beefy heavy duty knife. Here it is compared to a paramilitary two. Much larger, much, much larger. Let's see. Uh, man, I got to clean my desk. If you guys had any idea the chaos going on around the field of vision, like there is knives I need to review. There's boxes, there's tape, all kinds of stuff. It's a mess. 11 ounces. Actually not as bad as I thought. In holding it, I thought we were going to be 12 or 13. So that's not too bad. Uh, you know, action's good. Let's see, what do we got? Let's see. Lockup is super tight. There's no wiggle whatsoever. It does have a little bit of a weird feel to it. What's going on there? So, let's see. Get up on the ball. Yeah, there's a little weird, there's a little bit of a weird feel right here. Is it? Huh. I am not sure what that is. There's the detent ball. Everything looks fine. Oops, you can't even see through it there. Everything looks fine in there. There's the detent ball. Uh, and you can feel, so there's where it rides up on the ball. So that's okay. But then it sinks in right there. See how it sinks in? Almost like there's a, oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Duh, it's that freaking hole. So there's a hole in the tang that's right in the path of the detent ball. So it creates this weird double, I don't like that. So that's a knock on this thing. I haven't noticed that on other Max Ace that have the manual lock hole. Maybe it doesn't land right in the trajectory. That gives a weird kind of feel to it. Like there's, because you're riding on the ball and then all of a sudden it just sinks in and gets like kind of weird right there. And then it gets back up on the ball. So it's like a double, double detent clutch type thing going on. Detent is really good. Action is good. It's a cool beefy knife. Uh, it's not perfect. There's a lot going on here. The action does feel kind of strange, but overall, I think it's really cool. Love those grind lines. 3V is boss. Absolutely love 3V. Huge, massive, tanky piece of titanium. Max Ace is one of the few companies kind of really pushing the boundaries of giant folders nowadays. Max Ace and District 9. By the way, I'm kicking myself. I passed up an opportunity to get a Max Ace... Uh, or not a Max Ace, uh, District 9 Catastrophe. I've wanted one for so long, and I've had my eyes open. One finally popped up, but I just couldn't swing it. Couldn't do it, now it's gone. So that kind of bums me out. But you can't get everything, right? If you could, there wouldn't be any fun in the hunt. So, uh, huh, this one's pretty cool. The other option, the other colorway that this came in is black background titanium with gold inlays. Wasn't really feeling that one. I really like the monotone with the two-tone titanium, slightly darker here with the light titanium. You've got all the extra screws that you would expect from a Max Ace knife, right? They really overdo those screws. I like how it has external stop pins like a strider that interface with, you know, a fairly shouldered piece of titanium here. So not only does that create a lot of strength in terms of the blade not being able to move backwards because there's just so much stop here and it actually looks like it might be a triple. I don't know if it's actually making contact with everything. It looks like it. You can see right here, you can see the darkness from these external stop pins, but then it's also shouldered right here for this giant stop pin. So this is like, this is a solid lockup in terms of this blade not moving in a rearward position. And you may say, why do I care if it's moving in a rearward position? Well, if the blade starts to settle backwards, even just a, a fraction of a millimeter, then that's going to move this lock face up, which is going to move this lock bar in, which is going to affect your lockup and your stability. Usually you can adjust it and it'll be fine, but sometimes you actually lose a little bit of lock strength when that happens. So Really cool to do that, and the machining needed to make contact with all three of these points is uh, pretty impressive, right? Not not super 
not super easy to do. And this knife was designed to be a mega tank knife. Um, I believe Max Ace has a video out there where they are just beating the piss out of this knife, just destroying this thing, beating the crap out of it. And it uh, performs extremely well on all of their, their tests. So really cool, man, that, that pocket clip is what bugs me. I mean, all this work, all this design on this thing, and they do that with the clip. I mean, even if they just, they just need a bigger ramp right here. If they extended that part forward. Anyways, I'm not going to harp on that anymore. Maybe it's fine. I tried to put it into like my hoodie kangaroo pouch. Didn't work, but that's, you know, not proper material. So maybe in regular jeans, there's enough tension on the fabric to kind of lift this up and you can get in there. So maybe it's fine. I better not say anything because it could be fine. Uh, the double clutch detent thing, though, is a little odd. but And it's just frustrating because... It's because of this stupid manual lock that nobody uses anyways. So kind of just a waste. But overall, very cool. I'm glad I picked this up. It's kind of a little bit of a, a flagship model, I guess, for Max Ace. You know, the Hephaestus. It was super popular when it came out. They did a re-release in 3V, which is this version. Snagged one. Pretty happy about it. In fact, I think I, think I got the last one on their site because I ordered it and I checked it like 10 minutes later and they were out of stock. So I think I got the last one. So... Pretty cool. All right, guys, let me know down below. What do you think of the Hephaestus? Comment, like, all that crap. I'll talk to you guys later.